Hello there, good evening, welcome back to Sim City. I'm Professor Bastardly. Okay, um, episode six? Most likely episode six of six, but um, we'll come to that later. So, as I alluded to last time, we're going to build, that's right, another city to add to my existing soiree of uh, one, two, and a little bit over here. Um, so yes, here we go. We've got even more things now, obviously, because the town hall has got all the available upgrades from the other place. I think the only one that we're missing is a tourist board thing. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking. We've got everything else. We've got the gambling HQ, so I can start by building those immediately. Um, we've also got a... Oh, I guess that's pretty much it. But we've got police and such, so... Um, I want to go back. Last played two weeks ago. What? I've only just claimed this. Stupid game. I haven't been playing for two weeks. Right, so we'll get crack a lacking. Okay, we'll take out a large £100,000 dollar simoleon bond and get starting. No one can get here. Connect a road to the highway, then zone long. Why is the chap from the education board dictating what I should do? It should be you. There we are. I like the fact you wear a suit and a hard hat. You're a man of the people. And look, we've got a little bridge. Ooh, that's very fast for a train. Also, trains don't really tend to go up hills, do they? Hmm. Okay, right. So, I'm only going to use high-density streetcar avenues. Why, do you ask? Why should you ask, is the main question. So, let us get started. Okay, I'll put that as close to the edge as I can get to, and let's make this a very, very boring city by having everything like that. Right, there we are, I've spent all my money. Good night everybody! No, I'm only joking. So we need some homes. Um, before I do a home, I just need to check. Oh, I can have one. I have to have it over there, I think. Okay, so. Residential. There we are. Come, live in my city. Spend all your money. Okay. Oh, wait. Not enough simoleons. Right. I'm going to borrow another hundred grand. The reason being is I can always gift myself money from one of my other cities. Mwah. Ha ha. Ha. Right. So, a train station, which kind of forces you to have a little dinky bit of road, doesn't it? We'll have that there. I like how it kind of doesn't really connect anywhere. Okay. And we'll have that. Can go there. And we'll have a nice high density road like that. And like that. Brilliant. We need some water. Okay, so. Water tower. Let's pop you here next to the entrance. Lovely jovely. And we'll have some commercial. Brilliant. So let's whack that tax up. We're losing money currently, but not to worry. Okay, we need electricity. So let's buy some electricity. No neighbouring sewage treatment providers. Bugger. Um, we'll buy power from both people. There we are. So, ah, lovely. Now I don't need to worry about the expense of that power. We need a town hall. We can pop that right there. It's the first thing you see. Everyone's smiling. Lovely. Congratulations, we can rename this place. Um, like and subscribe. That's a shameless plug if I've ever had one. Right, we're still losing money hand over fist. What do you want? You want a job, don't you? I need a place to work. Well, do you now? Zone industrial for 10 more buildings. Okay. There we are. Everyone's got work. We don't need sewage, do we? Oh, we do, because there's no one to buy it from. 
So I have a nice sewage treatment plant there. Oh, not enough cement. Oh, I wasn't even looking. Okay. Your city can't progress until you resolve the issue. Speed controls have been disabled. Oh, cheers game, ruining my fun. Uh, pass a bond measure. Okay, we'll borrow another 100k. Bloody hell. Okay. And now we play the waiting game. Sewage is going nicely. I might even build an airport here, who knows? So whilst we wait for the city to kind of repair itself, um, the reason why this will probably be the last episode, well, there's a few things. One, this is episode six. I mean, there's only so much you can do. This game has a beginning, but it doesn't really have a middle or an end. So in theory, you could keep going. And yeah, I could keep playing until I've got the ultimate set of cities everywhere. Um, but that's kind of boring because, you know, it, my definition of a decent city might be different from your definition of a decent city. So yeah, um, we'll see what happens. Okay. Dr. Vu. I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of all the same, really. Not much has changed. I'm going to probably try something a bit different with this city. What that is yet, I don't actually know. I'm not going to extend that road because I won't be able to extend the thingy bob. That can go there. That can, can go... No. Ah, that looks kind of wonky. I think it is ever so slightly off centre, isn't it? Oh well, you live and learn. So we need... Oh, what do you want? Brilliant, I'll do it. Give me two and a half thousand people and I get five thousand dollars. Is this old charade again, is it? Right, so we need some more commercial. So I think we'll cut commercial there. Oh, that's annoying. There. 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 Am I presidential? Residential? Residential! And we're back in the black, money-wise. So, that's very good. And look at that, I've already used nearly two-thirds of the city. I don't think EA liked me very much for not really plugging this game. Place parks to increase land value. Okay! Hmm... $120 an hour this costs me. One there, one there. One there, one there. Okay. Um, ooh, I don't know what else to have. What's really formal? That's quite expensive, though. These are all the same. Oh, no, that's quite nice. So we'll have one there. Lovely. And we'll pop another one there. Okay. So this is the same price as this. Oh no, it costs more, but it's the same to run per hour, so that kind of makes sense to me. There. So we've got a lovely high value place to live at the moment. And the money is flooding in. If I remember correctly, we don't have any... No, there is no oil. And there is no coal. Which means if I do want to build a processor factory, which is... Oh. Plop three different storage locks. Trade 72,000 in global market resources per day. Okay, I will need to build a processor factory. We need to have five medium tech industrial buildings and five high tech. Zero so far. So what do we need to do, people? Before you answer, you're right, I need to build some schools, but before I build some schools, I need to make people safe again. So we're going to have ourselves a police station. Brilliant. Oh wait, I won't build a police station just yet, because hopefully the other neighbouring cities can police for me. Ooh, what's that? Boss, the Department of Transportation lets us build a ferry terminal. One of our neighbours has a ferry terminal too. So if we get one, our workers and shoppers can commute. I'll do it by Jove. Okay, um, how much is a ferry terminal? Oh, 
I should know by now. I've already built a couple. Okay. Uh, I'll build it there. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That looks awful. Oh well. I can have a bit of industrial along the side. So we've got ourselves a ferry terminal. Closed, now hiring. Hire quicker, darn it! Come on. Come on. You're costing me money an hour. Why is there expenses on running it when there's not actually open? I don't like that very much. Some buildings do not have enough workers. How? How are there not enough workers? Is it got to do with the wealth level? I mean, do high wealth people not work? Oh, I like the sound of that. What are you watching? That sounds like pouring wine. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. You shouldn't be drinking wine. And there's two lovely cars here, both exactly the same, and they're not at work. I dislike that. Everyone's got two cars, pretty much. Go to work. You frustrate me. Uh-oh. Now hiring. Zone residential to attract more workers or connect mass transit to neighbouring cities. Oh, for fudge sake. So any more people living here? Right. Ugh. Fine. I'll put taxes down. There we are. That should attract some peasants. 2018 people. Murder on the loose. I think I heard some gunshots there. <clears throat> I don't really get... Surely it's a aimless serial killer because... Sorry, you know, correct me if I'm wrong and I might watch too much TV, but... Most people tend to murder for a reason. You know? And there's not really much you can do here. Oh dear, there is more crime in your city than the police can handle. Expand your police force to prevent them from getting out of hand. Robbery in progress! Where is the robbery? Ooh. Murder in progress. Ooh. Can that be my new theme tune for my um, videos, Monocle? What's here? What crime is that? That is a robbery. Oh, they're burgling two houses right next door to each other, right at the entrance to the town. And it's the middle of the day. I, you know, crikey, I've got to hand it to them. They kind of deserve to get away with that sort of bravery. Now hire... I... Ugh. I've got 3,100 people. That's more than I had earlier. Ah, you're open. And we've got currently no people using it. So your advice earlier about building a ferry terminal was completely pointless. <sighs> How much is the police terminal again? 30,000. Okay. Some buildings do not have enough workers. Do you know what? Go away. This game is beyond broken. Can I upgrade my city hall yet? Nope. Ugh. Basically, because I made... If you watched my earlier videos, because I made so much crime in my other city, they do kind of tend to flock to other cities. Which means if you play this with friends, you can be a proper bastard like me, um, create a massive, massive evil empire, and they will uh, utterly obliterate your friends' um, cities. So, yeah. Right. We'll have a nice police station, and we'll show pop it... Uh, there. Brilliant. Okay. Uh oh. Your sims are injured? It may be a small fire. I'm glad to hear it. Ugh. Buying power from Bastardly in Monocle Town, USA. <laughs> oh, that's evil. So basically, I've claimed this useless bit of land. Because I get just 50 grand for having it, I can just give all the money back. Lovely. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to go to Monocle Town, USA, load it, and I'm just going to offer all of my police and health and fire vehicles. Hopefully, that will work. So, so let's volunteer all my fire vehicles, we'll volunteer all my ambulances, and we'll volunteer all of my police cars and every single garbage truck. This might utterly ruin everything <laughs> can't be any worse than it is so brilliant that's done that will load back up like and subscribe
we have everything now. So if I just speed up the time, my money should go up by 50 grand. There we are. Brilliant. And I'm very safe, and there's no fires, and everything is all hunky-dory, which is brilliant. So now that I've got that extra dosh, I'm going to extend this road. And we can have more residential. Up until about there. And we'll connect it with commercial, so the industrial is zoned away from the residential. We'll have a skewel. And the school can go there. And we'll have some bus stops. You kind of get a warm, fuzzy feeling seeing all that green, and I think the game does that very well. There we are. Bus stops galore, and they're nice and spread out so all the chunky children can get a bit of exercise every once in a while. Okay, oh, let's see. Set to 400 degrees. Pfft, I'm just going to crank it up to 800. Celsius or Fahrenheit? I'm very concerned, love. Is everybody commuting out of my town to work elsewhere, I wonder? Because I'm seem to have an impending problem with the fact that we can't seem to hire anyone. Teaching zero students at well, 2 o'clock in the morning, so I should hope. It costs $400 an hour at night to run a school. I'm gravely concerned by that. Okay. Right, 48,000 simoleons. What do we need? We need more workers. So, we need more roads. I just connect this one to there. And we shall connect this one. Not enough simoleons! So, we need more residential. Ding dong. Okay. And we'll have some more commercial, just for the fun of it. Right, how many students are you teaching? None. Oh, that's a... Those roads really don't look straight. It might just be me being weird. Um, but that is a bottleneck if I ever did see one. Right, Monocle Town USA's garbage trucks look to keep, like, and subscribe clean. It is a bit bent there, if you can kind of see what I'm doing with my mouse cursor. Um, but, okay. So, speed up time. How much is a community college? 42,000 simoleons. Okay. Oh, I need a bus stop. There we are. Have 5,000 residents. Yes, upgrade. Oh, what's that? Why is there an... So we can actually now have a Department of Tourism, because we have everything else. There we are. We'll make this a nice little tourist hotspot, I think. Classroom full, that's what I like to see. It means I need to spend more money, but hey ho. So we'll have some classrooms and some top floor classrooms there. So we have a Department of Tourism, so what touristy things can one have? Now, if I remember correctly, one of these gives you money. I think it's this one. Yes, 42,000 max profit. The Globe Theatre at the world's... Sorry, ugh, can't read. All the world's a stage, and now you can bring yet another replica of the Globe Theatre to your city. Origin, London, England. And that's the only British... Oh, no. Okay, I thought that was the Houses of Parliament. It is Stockholm City Hall. Let me guess, most of these are American. Okay, so we got France... Belgium, Netherlands, Brazil. Oh, does that cost any money? Oh, people can live there and it raises land value. Ah, these raise land value. Okay, so um, America, Spain, London, Germany, Italy, Norway, Denmark, America, Russia, Sweden, Australia, Japan, Poland. America. America. So yes, of course, four things need to be American. And sorry to sound like an ignoramus, what the heck is Willis Tower? The hunt is the tallest building in the United States. Oh. I feel ashamed not to know that. Whoopsie doodle! Okay. So we're earning more money. Right. So what's wrong? Oh. Your sims are injured. This bus is just passed me by... That bus just passed me by, packed with other kids. We need more buses. 
Okay, you're going to tell me the same thing, aren't you? A neighbouring city is wanting to us to get a bus terminal so we can send buses full of happy workers and shoppers to them. Let's go. I'll do it. Ah, I didn't notice this. Okay, we've got Expo Centre and a Pro Stadium. We've got World's Largest Ball of Twine. Larry the Large Llama, which hurts me just to say that. Giant Garden Gnome. Dolly the Dinosaur. Maxis Man Statue. Oh. Let's increase medium land value, shall we? How much does this cost an hour? 320, oh, 80. Oh, I like that. That's not a very large ring on the how far it goes. Uh, roadside swaying tree. Plant forest. Okay, a lot of these things I never even knew existed. Um, so Oh, it's very expensive. That's a tiny ring on that one. Right, we'll have one of these bad boys. So that can go there. 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 Brilliant. Uh-oh. A criminal was just released because of overcrowding. You're going to moan at me to get a jail, aren't you? Oh. Fine. A safe city is a good city, I suppose. I liked it on SimCity 3000 where you just built more stations and they didn't cost you a bloody arm and a leg. Didn't have to, have to worry about prisons or anything then. Ugh, we're losing money. Again. My bonds are one third of the way gone nearly. Something I suppose. Right, people are happy, which is good. I need more people to flock to my city, but that population is going down and up and down and down and up and up and down and up-ish, up-ish again. I think this is just a scenario of let us just sit here and do absolutely sod and all. Right, I don't really need any more people to move to the city, so let's whack these taxes up. There we are. I'll earn me another thousand dollars an hour. Simoleons, whatever, leave me alone. Um, well, isn't this exciting? Exciting. There's not enough workers. Tell you what, mate, give me some money for a road and I'll get more workers, all right? What I'm probably going to do in the future, ladies and gentlemen, is probably play uh, Cities Skylines. The reason being is apparently it's actually a good game as opposed to this one. I mean, this game isn't bad, but... If you followed it like the, from the beginning, like I did, and paid top dollar for this game, um, it kind of is a massive disappointment with the city sizes, the constant need previously to be online to play the game, and the fact that it was so super awful playing with other people, because, you know, like these things like gifting and sending vehicles and things, none of that really worked the first time you did it. So, like, you'd volunteer vehicles or gift money, and it would take absolute years for it to work. I mean, even now, look at this. I've built so many houses, and he moans about them not being, you know... Ugh. See, even right now, he's moaning that my roads need to be at least medium density. They're all high density. <laughs> How frustrating. Commercial buildings are not getting enough shoppers, so more residential. It's all I tip here to be bloody zoning. I've got a small pocket of commercial and industrial. Oh, fudge sake. There. Residential. I'm even going right down to the industrial side because of reasons and such. Okay. So we've got lovely lots of residential. Now, how many people are you teaching? 283 out of a population of 6,000. That's not very good. So. We need more school bus stops. I mean, if you've got yourself a spare couple of quid and you've never really played the SimCity franchise or you at least played the first one, I thoroughly recommend SimCity 3000. It's an absolute bastard to actually make any money and not fail on it, but when you actually get a city that's on the go... I mean, look at this city. This is perhaps the smallest map you can have on SimCity 3000. The smallest. You can have one... Ugh, at least, you know, 
too big, it would take you hours to fill the entire thing, which is fun. Yes, there's not lots of features, the graphics are outdated, but it's not about the graphics, it's about a simulation. Hence the name Sim. That is my two cents, I do apologise for going off the rails there. Right, so what do we need? We need edumacation. No, we need a bus terminal, don't we? So the bus terminal can go on the commercial side. So that can go there. Right, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop, bus stop. You get the picture. Okay, we need more parks because we need to attract more sims. Ooh! Sims across the city will flood to this park to celebrate the launch of an awesome exclusive hot air balloons. And you get visitors, apparently. Okay. So let's have that there. Ooh. I like the sound of that. I need a bus stop next to it. There we are. Hooray! Hot air balloon! It's a giant turtle! Or a tortoise. Okay. Ooh, what's this? A mayor's home. I like living again. Let's live next to the hot air balloon. Brilliant. Everyone's happy that I live here. I now have a house in every city. Have 80 low wealth workers or shoppers take the municipal bus in a da. It missed out the Y because it was covered up by her smug face. What does he want? Have a thousand low wealth workers or shoppers take the ferry in a day. Mayor, we've had good attendance so far, but I don't want any kids playing hooky. Will you please pay some extra attention to make sure the students get to class? I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. What's my reward? A tick. Cheers. That's very sweet of you. This isn't really the sort of city I had in mind. I want big, sweeping skyscrapers to cover the horizon, but I can't. I want a hospital. And I can't afford a hospital because I've got all these bonds still. Ooh, 11%. No, there we are. 10%. There we are. Am I going to bridge 10,000 people? Tis the question. This number's just kind of hovering there. More tourists want to come to your city than your current transportation system can handle. Add or expand your mass transit options to serve more tourists. Okay. Thousand dollars an hour. It's not very cheap. So how do we expand it? How's my bus situation? 21 minute average wait for a bus. That's not too bad. And how's my train station doing? It's fine. Well, what do you expect me to do? I mean, I've got every form of mass transportation apart from an airport. And, you know, I don't want to... Oh! We can have an airport. How much is it? 85,000. Okay, I can put that there later. Right, let's schedule an event. I'll do it. So it costs 6,000 simoleons and you get 42,000. Plus, obviously, 1,000 an hour it costs. So how many tickets have we sold? Z I don't know. It's not very clear. That sounds pretty cool. Two residents, 17 kids, and there's no homeless. Ooh, ah. Okay, um, let's have another tourism -y place. Now, this has 1,100 residents, so I'm just wondering if I plop that, does it actually increase my residents? Should we see? Because that'll put me over 10,000, and that'll make me a happy professor indeed. So let's wait until 9 pm, and it should go pitch black as soon as it hits 9. Someone bought 15,000! <laughs> wow. We're doing good. I can upgrade this. What do we need for a helicopter pad? Ah, an airport. Okay, well, I've already got everything, so it's pointless me expanding. I'll just leave it for the moment. So, we've got 15,000 people. It's going surprisingly good-ish. I'm not going to tempt fate. If I pay off that bond and then buy a bigger bond, and then we can have a police precinct, which I've not actually built one yet. And we'll build it. Uh, does that increase land value? Raises medium wealth land value. Okay, so my other police station. Let's put that there. Lovely. So, hire me some police officers. Cost 1700 an hour. That's not cheap. Uh-oh. We need more sewage. 
I've still not got a power plant, <laughs> I've just realised. Ooh, 18,000 people living here, brilliant. Okay. There is more crime in your city than you can shut up about. Ooh, the density is going up, so we might actually start getting some skyscrapers. Which is what I'm hoping for. So, what other touristy places can I not afford? Empire State Building. I'm disappointed at the lack of Big Ben. I'm a bit biased, obviously, but you know. Oh, you can only have two out of three. That sucks. Okay, are these do these just attract tourists, or can we have people living there? Sydney Opera House can have events. I oh, if you can get 100 Sims Park parks for the next three days, then it's yours. I reckon I'll get that instantly. People are protesting. Too much crime. Okay. So how can we decrease crime? Ah, there we are. We can have one of them. What's this do? Crime Prevention Center. Uh, let's see if that works, shall we? Oh, that's expensive. 30,000 cement. There we are. I should sort crime out. Ooh! Look at that! An actual city-like building. Surprising they'd actually consider building that in a city this sort of size, but, um... Ooh, that really made me dizzy. But yeah, it's not looking bad, is it? I should have built a city like this to begin with, because I've got 21,000 people living here. I mean... If you do the maths, you probably couldn't fit 21,000 people into a city of this size. And when I say city, it's more like a village, but, you know, uh, this game isn't about maths. That bus just passed me by, packed with other kids. We need more buses. Yeah, dude, build a recycling center. Center spelt E-R, because this is like America and that. Okay, um, how much is a recycling center? 100 kajillion dollars. 111,000, not far off. Okay, I've built maximum buses. There, that bus didn't pass you by, did it? I mean, if, I, I could at least end with this episode knowing I've done something right. 20,000 people, it's going down, bugger. <laughs> that was probably the most awful time to pitch a good, happy speech. I mean, yeah, I could keep playing and build a university and build other things, but that's going to take me a long time. Um, but yeah, it's looking very good. I don't want to volunteer any extra vehicles. I'm happy the way it is. I mean, look at this. We've got si si skyscrapers. And people aren't living here anymore. Um, but yeah, it's good. And look, I'm getting money. I can pay off that bond and I can pay off that bond. And we're earning £7,408 per hour. Zero crimes committed per day. Brilliant. I must say I've out bloody done myself. Um, I won't bother putting that down because that's going to cost me money. I want to build something else. Last payout was 32 grand. I like that. We'll schedule another event. I'll do it. Ooh. Only 15 people visiting it. Mayor's house, lovely. Another thing I liked about SimCity 3000, sorry to keep dragging this video back to it. Certain things you'd click on, it would have like statistics, and the statistics in a cryptic way, I mean if you looked it up on the internet, would say certain things, like the mayor's house would have a certain number of eggs thrown at it, and the, pig uh, the mayor's statue would have a certain number of pigeons on it, and it, it meant stuff, and if you looked it up, it actually really was quite cool. Yeah. Right, this is all looking very, very swish indeed. I'm earning money. Money is good. I like that. Okay, robbers cross border from Monocle Town, USA. So before I finish, I feel that the time is nigh. I mean, there's lots of things you can do. For example, you can build a processor factory. Um, to do that, you ideally need to mine and drill ore from the ground. You do that, you turn it into plastic, the plastic then makes processes, you then sell it on the global market. Excellent. Um, I, when I first got this game, I, I, you know, I did get to a population of about 100,000 on one of my cities, and I was earning about $100,000 per hour. Now, 
as you meant, as I, you probably saw right at the beginning of the video, remember where I said I failed because I ran out of money? Well, let's just say I was earning $100,000 an hour. You'd probably expect, you know, this to be plus 300000 and then my subtotal expenses to be, what, 200000 So if I ran out of water, what occasionally happens is places shut down because they haven't got any water. So you then build another water tower and give it a few moments, it will start back up again. The problem I had while I got so frustrated and stopped playing this game altogether was that if you ran out of water and places shut down, your expenditure would then be minus like 200,000 an hour. So unless you had a safe 200,000 sitting in the bank, the game would fail unless you bought out bonds. Um, you know, the, the game is broken in other ways as you've seen, you know, not on this particular map, but on my other map, I wanted me to zone more residential. I couldn't zone any more residential because I ran out of room. Um, you know, people protest about something. There's too much crime. So you hire more police vehicles and then you get less gambling. Yeah. Yeah. Play this game for yourself to find out. Whether you actually want to fork out money to play this game is another matter entirely. I would highly suggest City Skylines because I've read nothing but good things about that. And in fact, there's a few people on the Fleming Monocles channel who you should check out who play it. So, you know, watch it and tell me what you think. Would you like to learn more about this? No, because I've been actually trying to have a coherent conversation with my viewers for a change. I mean, I'm earning lots of money at the moment. I've got, you know, things on the go. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do, really. You know, it's, yeah. I think I'm going to call it there. It has been fun. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy playing this game. It, you know, it is quite fun. However, there is a lot of flaws in it. You are very limited in a lot of areas, as you've probably picked up a few things which I haven't even mentioned. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's been fun. I, there is no real end to the game. You can keep expanding your empire by, you know, every single city in the region, make them all maximum. One thing I didn't do was um, build a Great Works. Basically, a Great Works is similar to like a Wanderer on Age of Empires. Um, a Great Works is like, for example, you can build a space center, you get all your cities to funnel in resources and it eventually does something. Once you have a Great Works, there's benefits to plenty, but it's frustrating. So, that's it. It's been fun. It's been great. Um, well, talking and letting you people watch, not playing the game as much, but thank you very much. Um, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, watch my other video series, because they're all absolutely amazing, I'm sure. And that's it. Thank you very much. I've been Professor Bastardly. Good night.